Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. If you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today I thought it'd be fun to do a St. Patrick's Day themed look. So went with the green, had a bunch of fun. If you'd like to see that video, stick around and we'll get right into it. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna jump right in to start the eyeshadow. I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with some concealer and powder just to get a clean base going so the eyeshadows will hopefully go on nicely and wear better. Today is March 16th, so St. Patty's Day is tomorrow. Painted my nails green yesterday. I don't, like I'm not a huge St. Patrick's Day person. I really enjoy the corned beef and cabbage. But other than that, <laughs> but I just thought it would be a fun little thing to do today. I, I got out my uh, Sydney Grace Mel Thompson Tiny Marvels palette a couple of days ago and I've been playing with that. That is such an amazing eyeshadow palette and the green in there is super cute. So I'm going to play with that today. And then I got my Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions. Got that out and the Ace Beauté palette that I got in my BoxyCharm last month. That has a really pretty green in it. So I thought I'll play with those today and see what we can do. I did a look last year, just a, a green eyeshadow. It wasn't particularly good. So here's hoping I can pull it off today. I'm really hoping it works out well because I would like to film a skincare video. I have some really amazing products that I want to talk about and share with you guys. So I think if this eyeshadow works today, I'm going to record that. This is the Ace Beauté palette and that green looks gorgeous. And when I used this palette last month for my um, my unboxing, I think. I loved it. I thought the quality was excellent. So I'm gonna give that green a try. And then of course, the Sydney Grace Mel Thompson palette. That green in the middle is gorgeous, but I'm also gonna use some of the neutral tones to start the crease and build that up. And then I have the Huda Emerald Obsessions palette. I don't love these little palettes like at all, but I'm gonna give it a try and see what we can do. So I'm gonna start with the Mel Thompson palette and just start getting my crease going. I'm using Tree Hopper to start in here. I have loved every shade in that Mel Thompson palette. They blend beautifully, they last, they're just amazing. I have a feeling this is gonna look incredibly nuts until I get my face finished. So we'll see. Oh, also, in that BoxyCharm, I got that cream blush from Wander Beauty, and I love it. I just cannot stop using it. So I went on to the website to see if they had any other shades. They have one other shade, which I actually ordered and received from Amazon. So I'm gonna try that out today because it's more of a peachy orangey shade, which I think will look nice with a greenish eye look. I'm super excited about that. I really love that formula. It stays, it's vibrant, and I like a strong blush. So I'm pretty excited. All right, so I got 
that done, I think I'm going to go in with a bit darker shade to build up the crease a bit more. I'm going to go in with Walkin' Stick from the Mel Thompson Sydney Grace palette. It's just so good and so easy. I know they had a restock. I don't know if it's still available. I should have checked, but I kind of suck. So I didn't. But if it is, I highly recommend picking this up if you can. I think you can get a lot of different looks out of it. You can go neutral. You can go far out and funky. I just highly recommend this. It's the only Sydney Grace shadows I've ever tried, but it makes me wanna try more. I'm gonna go back in a little bit of Tree Hopper just to blend those two a bit. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there and start with the green. I think I'm just gonna jump right into that green called Theme Park. Wish me luck, I've never used that shadow before, so we'll see. That's what it looks like on the brush. I'm gonna start really lightly. I just don't know how this performs. So far, that's really nice. Don't fall. That's really nice. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back in with my brush that I had. Walking stick? Yeah, I'm gonna go back in with the brush I had some walking stick on. I didn't add any more to it. I'm just gonna buff the edge of the green so we don't have any harsh lines. I do think I need to get a little more up in here. Yeah. Okay, now I think 
I want to put, I think I want to put the green shade called Mantis all over my lid. It's such a nice color. So pretty. I love that color. I just don't love the Huda palette. The little nine pan palettes just aren't that great in my opinion. I think I might take Scarab, which is this duochrome. It goes like green to brown and put that on my outer corner and see how that plays. I think I've got too much on my brush because there's quite a bit of fallout. Hmm. That's not working. I'm really not the biggest fan of duochrome shades. I don't know if it's because my eyelids are well and truly lived in, and so it looks a little odd. Maybe I'll try wetting it and see if that helps. Okay, I've got a dampened brush. Oh, that worked. And then the Mel Thompson palette again, because I just love it so much. There's this shade right here called Fire Butts. I think I'm gonna layer that over the green and see how that looks. It's so pretty. Yep, that's just gorgeous. Blend this line. Same thing on this side. Let's see it together, no harsh lines. I've been using this one kind of a lot and I don't normally wet it because it just doesn't need it. It's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna take a, a clean fluffy brush and just run that over the edges.
just so pretty. Move on to the cleanup and the face, and then I'll finish my lower lash line. So to clean up all the fallout, I like to use a face oil of some kind. I have this one by Wander Beauty. I got it in a BoxyCharm and I love it for this. It really helps to loosen up the shadow so it wipes off easily and it hydrates my under eyes. So I worked out pretty well. It's like a twofer. That's a good look. <laughs> and then ever so gently with a wet makeup eraser cloth. It's just this little tiny cloth. I got it with a seven pack, I believe, or a pack of seven. Pretty sure I got it from Ulta or Sephora, but it's great for this. I do not depend on it to wash my face. I don't love it for that, but for this it works great. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyeliner. And unfortunately I don't have a green eyeliner. See, I got some on my lower lash line. Now I can just clean that up. I love this. When my kids were little, I had, I didn't have a lot of makeup. I had kids, so, but I did have one drugstore quad, I think, and it was all greens, and that's what I wore when I wore makeup with green eyeliner. I loved it. It's been a long time. Okay. Since I did my, Boxy Charm unboxing. I've been using this corrector. I like it a lot. I've never used one before, but I like this one. So I just dot it under my eye and then pat it in gently. I didn't really know if it would do anything or, but I like it. Speaking of likes, I have to tell you, holy moly, my sister and I got new pillows. We did a bunch of research and found these pillows called the Coop Pillow, C-O-O-P. And we ordered them, got them. They are fully customizable. So they are, they have a zipper and they come with this amazing fluff in them. And so we got the pillows in the first night. I slept on it straight up. I didn't take any fluff out or add any because they do give you an extra bag of fluff for more oomph, which I thought was pretty cool. And they suggest, you know, like if you're a back sleeper, if you're a side sleeper or a stomach sleeper, or back sleeper, they have all these suggestions. So I wanted to figure out what worked for me. And I started with just the way it came. And then the second night, I liked it so much that I made my husband try it. And he liked it, so I ordered him one. So the third night, we took out, mm, it's hard to say, like maybe a little over a gallon size bag of it. And that was too much. So then the next day, his pillow came, so we took a little fluff out of his and put it into mine and it's perfect. I love this pillow so much. It is amazing. Highly recommend. And because for me, I don't need all the fluff in it and the extra fluff that we got, um, we have that for like a backup. So some of the reviews said after a while, it kind of got hard and they didn't fluff anymore, but it does say to fluff your pillow every single morning to help 
it lasts longer. But with all the extra, I feel like you could do one of two things. You could save it for if it does kind of get yucky and you could take out the yucky fluff and put in the fluff that you saved. Or if you wanted to, you could make a whole nother pillow. I think that's amazing. Like it, just do it yourself, customize it. I don't know why all pillows don't come like that. I think that's brilliant. So anyway, if you're interested, you can find that on Amazon. Two day shipping, you've got the prime. I just am blown away by how much I love this pillow. Does that make me incredibly old that my big excitement is a pillow? If it is, I'm totally okay with it. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Foundation, Stay All Day and Night Foundation, or they like this. Like I always do a pump and a half, and it's always too much. So I'm gonna do one pump, and then if I need to add more, I can. I mean, one dip in and it covers so much. It's amazing. That's still just that one dip. This is good foundation. It's expensive. So that's not fun. But if you only need a little, I feel like it's gonna last a long time. So if you had to use two pumps of something else or one pump of this, maybe it's not such a bad deal. on this too because I don't use a lot it feels like a medium coverage but I bet it could be built up to full however the concealers not doing its job today Again. Hmm. That's better. Can I get my blender full? Lately, I've been liking putting powder on with that. And I'm still using the Rimmel Stay Matte London Pressed Powder. I like it a lot. Now, let me 
make sure all the lines and creases are tapped out before I add any more powder to my blendable. I'm just gonna pat what tiny little bit is left under my eye. And the same thing on this one. looks pretty good. I'm always trying to figure out new ways, the best ways to, well, to do anything, but in this case to do my makeup. I think it looks pretty good. Looking pretty pale. Thank you, Winter. Now I think before I go on to the rest of my face, I'm gonna finish up my under eye. So I'm gonna get my Tiny Marbles palette back out. And let's see. I think I'm probably just gonna go with this spider shade right here and put it close to my lash line and then buff it out with tree hopper. I'm gonna a little bit of tree hopper I think and just buff that. Yeah, I like that. Maybe I need a little green under there. Yeah. I'm gonna go back into the Ace Beauté palette and use that green I used earlier. I'll get my fluffy brush and just there. I like it. All right, I'm gonna go with some contour, just my hourglass ambient lighting bronzer and diffused bronze light. I love this thing. I really wish Hourglass would get its shit together. Widen the... Widen the shade range to be more inclusive. a little under my lip like usual. Now I'm just gonna go with my butter bronzer. Bronze up my cheeks and my forehead a little. 
I had so much fun doing that giveaway. I really just like sharing stuff. I think it makes it so much more fun. So I intend on doing at least one giveaway every month when I get my boxy charm. It seems silly to hang on to something that I couldn't possibly use myself. So if I can share it with somebody who can use it, that's just way better. So I'm excited for that. I've discovered a lot of really good stuff through BoxyCharm. Things I wouldn't necessarily have known to try or been willing to spend the money on. Like I'll disclose in my skincare video. There's a couple of things that are super expensive I never would have bought. But now that I know they're out there, it's something I will repurchase. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to bring the bronze around my neck a little bit to hide the fact that it doesn't see sun. <laughs> Now for the blush part. I hope this is as good as the pink one. I just think that is beautiful. I'm so excited for this. Oh, look at that. Mm. Okay, calm down. It's just blush. Oh, but is it? I don't think just should be in front of blush. It's blush. It's amazing. And I love that it doesn't do anything funky to my base makeup. It just goes on beautifully, even over the powder. I'm gonna go in for a tiny bit more. I've been liking it on the bridge up here a little bit too. Oh, I just love that so much. Yes, yes, yes. So good. I'm so glad I decided to do it. I'm gonna go in with a giant fluffy brush and just pat over. This has a tiny bit of powder on it left over from yesterday. Just wanna soften any edges that may need it. For my highlighter, I'm going to use this Sungasm by Catrice Face and Body Highlight. It, of course, came broken, but I did the alcohol trick and that seems to have done a pretty good job. If you can get this highlighter, I highly recommend. It is so good. And this enormous pan was $10. I mean, $10 and I will never in my whole life use it up. I'm going to have to leave it to my granddaughter who will probably have to leave it to her granddaughter. It's just stunning. Beautiful. Now a tiny brush. A little 
I'll do a boatload on my nose. And the same on my inner corner to brighten things up. And then whatever's left, I'll just put right up here. I don't like a lot beneath my brow bone. Just gonna put my little moles back on. So I normally use this Maybelline um, Brow Ultra Slim Pencil in brown. And then I was looking on Ulta and found this L'Oreal Brow Stylist in the shade Dark Brunette. Um, I tried out the Milk, uh, what is it called? I have it right here. It's the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. And it's very, very dark. It's called Diesel. But I really liked the darker in my brows towards the middle and the tail. So that's what I've decided to do. Darken up my tail more and just enjoy that. Wow, take the cover off first. And brush through. I did pluck some strays this morning. This formula does seem to be a bit drier, but considering how dark it is, I'm more comfortable having to build it than if it just went on and I ended up getting it everywhere. Now this one. I just really like the color of this. The lid does go back on kind of hard. I don't love that. And then I'll take the regular brown one for the front just to blend and kind of hide the thin spots. It's amazing to me how different my eyebrows are. Just the way they grow naturally. So strange. They look nothing alike. Okie dokie. Now for the brow gel. I like this dark one. Just back here, really. There's a little mess happening right there. I better be very careful. And then I'm gonna go in with this NYX Professional Makeup Tinted Brow Mascara 
in the shade Blonde. Just in the front. I wish this brush was smaller, but the hold on this brow gel is pretty great. just a little. Let's see if I can. That's as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna set this with my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I kind of like this. And because it's a dewier one, I want to just dab over. Get my hairs out of the way. So good. I'm going to go in with a lip liner. This is in the shade Nectar. went nice and smoothly and then I'm gonna use this Revlon color stay overtime lip color in the shade perennial peach so you apply the color shade wait till it dries and then apply the gloss and it lasts a very long time I like this a lot Tiny little doe foot applicator. So it takes a bit to put it on, but it's nice. Okay, while that dries, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply my Bye Bye Panda Eyes mascara from Essence. It's just a nice pretty lash. Lipstick is dry, so before I apply the gloss, I want to just highlight my Cupid's bow. And then we'll just add a tiny bit more. I love highlight. <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to apply the gloss, and that's the makeup look. Again, this applicator also kind of sucks. It's so tiny and a little hard. And 
maybe maybe Revlon will see this and give us a bigger brush. I'm just kidding. There's no chance. But it's what it needs. It's so nice and it will last all day. Okay, I'm gonna take my hair down. See how that all went. My hair has been looking so much better these days with that Brad Mondo Wave Tech. I am loving it. Yes, my hair is not great, but it is a thousand times better than it has been for a very long time. So I'm happy. I like how the makeup look came out. I think it looks good. What do you think? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and come back for more videos. I'm going to post a skincare video next, so that'll be fun to do. I've got big thoughts on some of those. If you've got any special requests for a video, let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to accommodate. And are you a big fan of St. Patrick's Day? What do you typically do or enjoy? Uh, I know things look different with the pandemic on, but um, I'd like to hear since, you know, we're not going out and doing stuff. Let's commiserate in the comments section. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. I hope you like this video. Be good and remember to be kind to you. I just breathe.